I'm David. I'm Stan. And tonight it's educating Dave on some more things. It it's just the same stuff. He just comes out with one in a different colour and mm. then has to explain the entire backstory of how the factory put the wrong nozzle on and suddenly created a backstory for it and yay. So let's move on from your life story. Um <laughs> Leave my nozzle out of this shoe. This Optimus. We've, we've done got. this one. We've done the Optimus. We've done this. What? What? No. No, we're not doing bits that we've done before. I know how many of these things exist. You're just no. As I said, we've done that one before. He's just here as a core. As a core. As a core. Hang on. I like to ping one obviously. <laughs> oh, good. God, it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Dogs that turn into a robot that then turn into. Dogs. Yeah, don't you remember? That was. Um... You mean the lions? Yeah, that's the one! Yeah. What was that show? I can't oh, remember. Come on. Yes! That was it. Robot Chicken did the best takes of those. And then we had Die X. I tell you what, how about, how about we do this? You play with the toy, I read the comic. Being as these have comics. I, I did see the IDW comics in the yes. background. Now these are actually the American releases of these toys. Um, Can I complain right now that the coloration from the toy in the comic is hideously out? Where? Well, here he's got different shades of dark. Gritty yellow, bright there is canary yellow. This one has Lighting. various shades of, of quite nice red in comparison with the fire engine red. Over here, we've got lovely play on grey and white working in with a bright white model. And on that one that you're holding there, we've got lovely shades of blue. Actually, no, that one's not that far off. The rest are. Just saying. Kids toys. Big pedantic. Kids toys. Well, I say no, kids no, toys. No, 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 this is your, no, 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 no. This no, is no. aimed at the, no. the tens and ups. These no. are actually aimed at You cannot spend. have me reviewing masterpiece ones. This isn't masterpiece. And then reviewing <laughs> kids toys. Yeah, I can. Okay. In fact, I am. Yeah, I, I guess I that have to deal with it. Oh. Have fun. <laughs> what, right here on camera? I um, didn't know YouTube had a to pay for a channel. <clears throat> Yay! Comic! Enjoy. Okay. So here we have uh, Combiner Wars IDW comic. There is no wow, that's a number on it. Say again? Wow, that's overcomplicated. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is no number on it, which I, I find a little disturbing because it's obviously a part of a set of four. Did this one come with a comic? No. Nope. Is it actually? No, so it is just a Don't, set of four. This so, was the British release, so... Okay. But generally speaking, the only uh, toys that come with comics in the States are carded ones. Um, so, yeah. Now, interestingly with these, these actually came from B&M Bargains in the UK, which is a discount store. Uh, and they were nine ninety nine each, which is great considering the recommended retail price on the British releases was nineteen ninety nine each. So unsurprisingly, when I saw them, I went, hmm. And then promptly, my wife bought them for me for Christmas. God bless Claire, she is a good. One. <laughs> she really is. What's up with me for now? She doesn't get a grant or anything. Just really not even care as allowance. I mean, really should. <laughs> to be fair. I honestly think the only reason she's becoming a doctor is because she loves you and she's trying to figure out how to cure you. Or kill me. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> you got a pair of scissors, I think, Nick. Oh, I you make <clears throat> Okay, well, I'm not quite... We've just had a quick edit point now. I'm not quite sure how much of it... Uh, you want to, yeah. See. Basically, I got bored of reading the comics. There's another one for you to no, get bored of. I'm not being funny. I'm genuinely, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm really not trying to be funny. The The style in the first one just annoyed me because yeah. it kept switching styles. Oh, this is much better than this one. Right, they officially have replaced twisty ties with something even more evil. Yeah, those new plastic rubber band things. Nope. Never look. They're 
that kind of tag thing both ends. They're using Kimballs? Yeah. Why are they using Kimballs? I have no idea. Well, at least repackaging them will be easy to do. Well, oh, yeah. Still not impressed. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why you do that. I would imagine it's a cost cutting measure in some kind of shape or form. Well, you see nothing changed her eyes again. Have you, have you changed? No, the wind blade. blade. How do you change? Wind blade's getting around far too much. Oh, dear, just yeah. <clears throat> I'm not here to review the comics. Luckily, can I stop playing with some toys? Well, then have an iPad. Okay, so what's the retail on this bad boy? 19, wasn't it? Well, the British price was 19.99 without the comic. Okay, but we got American ones at 9.99 with the yeah. comic. Yeah. There is another okay. set of four of the G1 characters as well, which I want to get, um, which are Hound, Trailbreaker, Sun, um, Smokescreen, and... Oh. Oh, completely gone. Um, have the instructions for this one, just do an air on the side of me not breaking your Christmas presents. Okay. Yes, we're only just filming Christmas presents. That's how busy I've been. Um, Sunscreen, I will read these at some point. Well, yeah, stator. obviously, because they're part of your universe. Mm. Oh, they don't take care of one. I was just worried I was putting too much strain on it. I, I gave up. Do we have a fresh edit where I don't touch him at all? <laughs> I'm worried about it. I'm thinking of the viewers out there who actually want to go in, Dave, Dave, no, 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 oh, no, what's he doing now? You know how I do when kids lick their fingers to flip through books? mode they're all reasonably close to what they should be. Ironhide has a tendency to be a pickup truck these days even though originally he was a box van. Um, Sunstreaker was originally a Lamborghini Countach a special edition custom thing. Prowl's always been a police car but it was a Datsun Fairlady Z originally or a Nissan Fairlady Z and Mirage has always been a Legia or Legia um, Formula One car. Okay, at a so, tenner? Yeah. Yes! At That's 20, 20 new. Uh, um, I've paid more than that for comics in the past <laughs> that have been given away specifically with things. Yeah. So I think the comic collector in me would scream, mm. but not necessarily the, the toy collector. I mean, I would, I would like. But at a ten, I hell yeah, they're all right. They're, yeah, yeah they're, they're all right. Considering the price of things these days, they're, they're children's toys. Deal with it. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Um, now, the important thing in now. Children being, of all ages. Yeah. Well, this is the thing: is is that the because it's Transformers Generations, it's specifically aimed at teens and up. Yeah, it might be aimed at teens and up, but you know there are people yeah. our age buying them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean by up. This was the first time that. Um, Hasbro literally said that adults were included. Anything bad oh, generations, anything bad generations is that. aimed at, at adults. They actually refer to the Western releases of masterpieces as being part of Generations line. Okay. Idea, and then charge double what they are in Japan. All of a sudden. Yeah. Well, but at least they were about cars because Bumblebee turned up at um, Toys R Us in the UK at sixty nine ninety nine. Which what you could get on import for forty, maybe thirty five. No, okay. You're just like, really? Um, Come on then, wow me. Okay, these then combine because they're part of combine awards, <laughs> obviously. Um, so basically, you could overview this as one of two things. Uh, Optimus Prime gets an upgrade. Yep. Or Optimus Prime gets a chubby chelsea. Yeah? Something like that. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm glad we're on board. I've not got a clue what I'm doing.
So, Sven has been putting together this rather interesting toy, and I was checking eBay. There we go. I haven't actually done it the way the instructions tell you to. I know. Because, because all these stupid. bits look weird in the instructions, yeah. and here they look like a racing car strapped to a robot's arm with a hand attached, and another racing car. <laughs> Considering Combine Awards grew out of the yeah. special teams, which were things like Menasaur, which was a truck with four cars strapped to it to make the big robot. I, the, the, the Mirage is supposed to be a twisted, contorted version of this, and it's like, no, it looks better as a car connected. Actually, should I tell you what the, the one thing is that I really like about this toy, and mm. it's one of the things I really liked about Star Trek? You ready for this? Go on. The fact that this gun goes into this gun to make it more powerful, and then we can add another yes. gun. Just yes. I, no, no, genuinely, I do like the fact that that clips into that and it's designed specifically yeah. shows you that he's met that that boost the rain then this is and that little add-on bit i think it's a shame that all of the weapons don't combine onto this one to make this just uh, no, okay it does it's a standard post uh, po uh, hole so you can mix and match okay them. that's ridiculous though that's just <laughs> strapping a gun onto a gun well, yeah. Did you, oh, Salata, what is this alien? I'll just tape these all together. No, that one makes sense because it it's combined up to make a. Put that on there, okay. and then you've got little holes on the fists. Now this was kind of similar to what they did actually do with the original special teams, in that you could put some of the weaponry back on to the characters when they're in the combined mode to really soup things up a bit in the, the, the in the military stakes if you put as it were so there's nothing stopping you from mixing and matching these out other than the fact it's not stable um okay sven yeah let me ask you something <clears throat> so you are from a, a race of very intelligent beings yeah allegedly and you think i know i'll get four of my comrades to to bolt on to me so i can use them as additional armour. No. It doesn't actually make me more powerful in any way because yes, I'm just now bigger. Rather than having the tactical advantage of having five people, you're just going to have one big person. It's not an armour suit. It's a combiner. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do Transformers have shields? No. Unless so then combining exists. up doesn't give him the energy to do anything specifically interesting. By what what do you mean by that? Because that makes no sense. Oh, uh, well, okay. I could understand... Come over here, Jeff. I want to use your generator to power up this shield or make this gun more powerful. But come here, Jeff. I just want to wear you. So if I get shot, I can use you as a... No, that's his arm. I know it's his arm, but that's what I'm saying. So you've gone from having a completely autonomous fighting machine to now having a bigger arm. No, you've gone from having a small robot to having a massive robot because it's combined up. That's like saying Devastator is just bone crusher with bits added. Okay. 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 I'm just. You're not making any sense. It doesn't make <clears throat> any sense. Oh, okay. Well, think think of it from from my perspective. Yeah, you've gone from having five robots. Yes. With various fighting styles and weaponry. They've combined all their skills and have... energy and power okay, into okay. one robot. Skills? Yeah. Right. What skill does this arm have as an arm that is more useful than having an entire fighting machine? Because it's to do with other combiners who are big fighting machines. Okay. I never understood the concept in, in other shows either with ninjas. Okay, if, if they're combining the processing power, then I can get it. If it's successful, because is that's part an, of the storyline. So is this that. an independent character in one go? When they, when he's combined, is that a completely new character? Because yes. surely it can't be, can't be prime. No, it's not. It can't be a prime. It depends on on the interpretation of the combiner. Go for it. Because in G one, there was kind of 
in the G1 comics, there was an element of Devastator was a semi-failure because the networking of the brains resulted in an intelligence actually dropping. Why would the intelligence slow. drop? Because okay, the processing the speed processing lag. Um, with the aerial bots, they actually showed Silverbolt being in command of the five of them, but their all of their input was still being put into the decision making process. Okay. And it was actually slowed down for the viewer's benefit, not actually in the story for Suriname. Mm -hmm. But then they, they actually split at one point because Silverbolt was a scared, scared of heights. It was a Concorde that was scared of heights. Okay. And the others actually, basically... They, they, the first Disconnected time they him from the network because it was... Yeah, yeah. They, they basically split apart because they, they thought it was ridiculous and then after all, and basically they, they actually formed a team and supported the leader to get over that fact and then okay. work far better together. It was all, there, was, there was sort of morality play things being put into it. Mm. Um, the defence or um, was very much a case of uh, we combine to save lives mm. kind of thing. Um, Stunticons actually had a scene where part one part was arguing with another part because the, Decept the Decepticon combiners always had always had this ego problem, whereas the Autobots never had it so much. So it, it was all depending on um, how they were working together. It was teamwork. Mm. See, there you go, with the, as you said, with the Decepticons. Yeah. And you've got ego mashing. See, it would make more sense to me if when they all combined, they weren't individually intelligent it was just one depends on the interpretation some of the sometimes they were sometimes they weren't depending on who was writing or whether it was a tv show or a comic mm. or whatever see this is i've always i've always had a problem with all of the shows which had as i said there was one i can't think what it was it was the only one that ever made sense to me for vehicles combining to make a more powerful vehicle and the reason for that one was Independently, they couldn't generate shields. Independently, they Please couldn't don't know Power Rangers. No. <laughs> uh, independently, they couldn't do. But when they combined up, suddenly, they had all. They they used the energy of each individual vehicle to make a big. Yeah. You know, so that yeah. made sense to me. Where, from a tactical point of view, it's like uh, new. But if they're using the individual processing power as part of the central core to create a new character. Fine, as long as it's not independent characters tallying the main yeah. character. I mean, usually, usually they're, they're represented as it's it's Superior or it's Menasaur. It is not Motormaster, Dragstrip, Dead End, Wild Rider, etc. Et okay. um, or, you know, um, I mean, Defensor, more often than not, Defensor as a character had to override the Blades character who was part of him because mm. Blades was actually not a nice guy for an Autobot. Okay. Um, whereas they were the protector bots, they specifically were there to protect be to protect humans, mm. and, and you know, you know, the core was a fire engine. One of the uh, one of the arms was um, ambulance. There was an there was an ambulance. There was a um, police car. There was um, ambulance, police car, a police bike, mm. and Blades was the helicopter. It was supposed to be a rescue helicopter. Was it blue body, white arms, silver arms? Well, each arm was a different colour. Yeah. It was a blue, blue fire engine, which makes itself weird. Uh -huh. And they did a repaint of it in Japan. Oh, it's got a blue fire engine. There are some places in the world where the fire engines are blue. Some places in the world where they're yellow as well. I've seen yellow, I've not seen blue. Mm. Okay. Right, so for playability, what are we talking? Um, it's quite well. Compared with, with the older stuff, there is quite a bit of possibility there, to a degree, <laughs> knocking things off. I mean, obviously, I haven't transformed it quite the way they suggest because I think it looks better like this rather than bits hanging off. Mm. This is the way it had transformed originally. Um, I'd rather these were sort of like folded a bit more as well. But um, the lack of paint applications in the chest area as well is slightly disturbing because in in um, in Japan. There's a version of this running around in Japan that's um, got a much better paint scheme on it, shockingly. Um, now in in the UK and the States, you're supposed to put a mini hot rod in there. 
Yeah. To ask, ask, uh, act as a chest plate, but I don't think the Japanese one came with that. Um, and I, I think it's a bit weird having Hot Rod in with these original 1984 characters. Does it make sense to me? It's not Hot Rod, it's 1986. Right. So this is Arc Crew. This is the original. So Arc Crew, and then suddenly they gain one from the additional from the movie. Okay. So you're like, mm, no. Um, I quite want, I, I do want to get the white version of Prime because they did a white version of this this one mm. um, to go with the other four Arc Crew characters they've done. Okay. Which are Trial Breaker, um, Smoke Screen. Try Breaker, Smoke Screen, Hound, and one other way. I, I don't know why I can't remember that. But yeah, it'd be like, um, I quite like those together. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, originally I was going to try and hold out for the Japanese one, but it's so much money because it's a Japanese gift set. They all come in one big box. One big box. <laughs> yeah. That's always expensive. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't think it had a huge release over in Japan, to be fair. Okay. Um, so for it to be like that in the gift set, Mm. Coming from Japan at Japan prices in the first place, it's like yeah no, compared it's not with, happening, is it? compared with this retailing in this country as little as fifteen quid at one point, and then each of these at ten or each. But you get the comics. Yeah, exactly, which you won't get with a Japanese one. So, oh god, that must be a real quandary for some people. Yeah, yeah, it's quite bizarre. No, I'll I'll throw up some pictures. I think they probably just buy both. But yeah, yeah, I throw up the pictures. I throw up the pictures of the Japanese one. Because uh, there is some significant differences. Um, as a as a combiner, from a design point of view, it's pretty poor, mm. to be honest. Because but the fact that you've not transformed it the way it was designed to be transformed is an immediate clue that you weren't impressed with it. Yeah. Because um, I'm looking for it to be as G1 as possible, and that that core doesn't look right. Mm. This is very G1 in the way it looks with the folded down. Fronts and then these just basically bolted on vehicles, um, but it's not the complete mess that everybody seems to suggest that he, everything in this range is. Um, but then I haven't looked at the others very much. And also, you're thinking of it in a different price point because you know that you got it at the yeah. bargain rate. Right? You're yeah, not thinking quite. of it as a oh my good god, I just now made. twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. Hundred and five pounds? No. No. No way. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I don't, I, you know, I can't, I can't see it at, at, at a hundred pounds. It's not a hundred pounds worth of all. Okay, let me have a gander then. Okay. Now, this is the bit he always loves. He loves it when I actually get to look at these things. Well, from a posability point of view, yeah, it's lacking. But, to be fair, the oversized feet does help with some posability. Mm. It doesn't topple. You can actually have it at decent action positions like that. Mm. So whilst, as I said, posability is weak, balance is very good. Considering this now. I mean, one of the things that doesn't work in the favour of Combining Wars as a whole was the fact that it came after a period where a lot of third party manufacturers had started doing combiners. Why? Because Hasbro weren't. Okay, so, so if they won't make your favourite toy, we will. Yeah. Um, right. It was like there was, I think, three different versions of Predator King, okay. um, which is the combined version of the G1 Predacons. But the versions they've released, where the original, where the in individual toys were like this big, mm. and were like fifty quid, sixty quid each, and, and five unofficial. of them, and they're unofficial, and they were combining up into like basically. What was the quality like? Um, well, it's interesting actually because everybody's going, oh, they're much better quality than than the Hasbro versions, and the paint scheme's really really nice, and this that and the other, and then you look at them, you realise I wouldn't have even passed. Yeah, the, the quality control for mm. as toys, but they're aimed at adults. And it's like, yeah, but if you can't give it to a child without it breaking, and it yeah. doesn't pass a drop test, you're like, ah. oh, um, okay. I hate to ask this. I'm so, and I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not trying to pick on you. I'm just curious. 
Would you want to drop a masterpiece? Well, no, but if it's not safe... Well, would a masterpiece be? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that has to, because this is the thing, if it's been sold as a Transformer, regardless of where it is in the, country, in, in the world, it'll still have to go through toy safety tests. Adult collectibles don't have to. I didn't know what that had been sold as, whether it had been sold as a collectible. If it's gone through to, to, to if it's gone through to Cara, Tony or Hasbro at any point, it's gonna have to go through toy testing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so Which is why Fortress Maximus, for instance, didn't get a release uh, a re release in um, Robots in Disguise or since then, whereas right. it's had releases in in Japan. It doesn't pass the trot tests in the States. It's huge. Yeah. It would it's really struggle. Off. Yeah, I'm saying it would really. It's massive. It would really struggle. Yeah. You dropping that? It's yeah. not. Uh, and the fact it was heavy enough to crush a small child. <laughs> In all fairness, this combined up. I'm pretty sure if I dropped it, it wouldn't like it very much. Well, yeah, but it would disassemble. It wouldn't break. Yeah. That's the difference. Um, so, but then you get into you get into the whole debate between third party and first party toys, and you're just like. I well, I always think uh, the way to go with that when it comes to Transformers is, yeah, at the end of that, it's unofficial. It's it's not because your canon is set up not by the comics and not really by the films or the animator, and it's set up by. The original you toys, start they getting, are the canon. Well, yeah, you start getting in, well, yeah, it depends on who you're talking to, because everybody, uh, a lot of fans are very much rooted in the cartoon series. So the moment you do See, no, I don't get that. I can, I can understand people going the comic route or mm. going the original toy route, mm. but you can't really go the, the animated the series. Especially. Because a lot of people started with the animated series first. But the animated series was after. Yeah. The other, but then they can't be canon. Yeah, they saw it first though. So in people's head canon or the way, the way they look at the Transformers franchise, the G1 cartoon was the first thing that they got into, therefore that is their canon. I suppose it boils down to personal choice. Yes, exactly. Um, so a thick Grimlock is canon. And fortunately then infected other versions of the story. To the point where in the comic he started acting thick and then they explained he was doing that on purpose to hide the fact he was intelligent because he thought the intellig intellectuals were weak. Yeah, I think you've explained that once, yeah. once or twice before. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? One thing that uh, we've not touched on mm. in any of the previous episodes. I knew Mirage could project a hologram image of himself further away. What's this invisible nonsense? That's in the cartoon series, primarily. It was absorbed in. Um, and okay, and how is a transformer becoming invisible? Light reflection, or how? Why would you have to explain it? It's a cartoon series. <laughs> because it this one has an ability that none of the others do. Now, minor tweaks. You're going back to G1 though, when they originally all had a special ability that had been granted to them by the Matrix. Well, found out it was granted to them by the Matrix. Yeah. So, for instance, Skywarp literally could teleport, which is why he was called Skywarp. Thundercracker could produce a sonic boom. She's okay, so we're, we're saying it's because he's better. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's basically, I mean, Mirage, his original, the original introduction to him is, is he could create a Mirage of himself. Hence the name Mirage. So he could basically be somewhere else. Um, that was interpreted by the cartoon series as him turning invisible. And therefore hiding or something. I think someone misread his text back, to be fair. Okay. Um, but it was later suggested that he could turn himself invisible where he was and then project another version of himself somewhere else, which actually made sense. Mm -hmm. So basically made it look like he was somewhere he wasn't and hiding the fact of where he was. Um, it's like Ravage. Ravage could hide um, by bending the electromagnetic spectrum around himself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which is pretty no, cool. no, no, that actually makes but sense. he was also incredibly susceptible to bright light. Yeah, so he got blinded he really easily because he was hiding in the shadows, bending electromagnetic spectrum around himself. So 
bright light straight in his eyes, damn. Couldn't cope with it. Mm. Okay. So, well. Yeah. Well, those are mainly his opinions. <laughs> we'd, uh, we'd love to read some of yours, so please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can subscribe to us here on YouTube, you can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter, and of course there is the official Geekology website. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Bye. Knife and that ain't gonna work. Okay. Oh, is it cable tie back? No, they're not. They're worse. They're worse than cable tie. Oh, is it that crappy little squeezy white plastic crap? Nope. What is it then? It's a whole new fresh hell. Would this do it? Bolt cutters. <laughs> Seriously, do you want a pair of scissors rather than using them? No, this will be hilarious. Not if you damage the toy though, man. No! Stop! 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 What's ridiculous is those are hobby scissors uh, for card crafting and they actually come from hermetically sealed packaging. What? Oh, I'm serious. It's inside. Oh, no. Yeah, but germaphobes and card modelling. I'm really gonna have to drag you to one of the, the home hobby fairs. So you they really don't need fun. to. Actually, I think you'd enjoy it. So, seeing some of the uh, skill sets that go on. Should I ask? <laughs> there you go. Just right there. Stand down! Stand down! <laughs> okay. Let the mocking begin! Aww. I thought you were going to have a little head. I don't do little head. Stay in. That's uh, what she said. Cannot take him anywhere. You can, I'll just show you. For viewers at home, if you'd like to leave a section in the comment section below of how Sven could swivel this up, I would love to read that. Put that somewhere safe. <laughs> yes, I, I, I actually do want to put this somewhere safe. Um, this is part of your birthday present. Right. I know you don't wear ties very often, but I, I do know you wanted one of those. So. Okay. There you go. Um, I just pierced his nipple. Actually.